<laughs> oh my god. Call Jason. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? Serafkin Geek here. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Atlanta episode 4, season 3. The first three episodes were so phenomenal. I really love the show. I'm really excited for what the rest of the season has to behold. And the the fourth and final season. Man, I've been checking out so many cast interviews and stuff like that. <laughs> in my own free time. But let's not waste any more time and just, you know what I'm saying. Dive right into it. It started with a new character. I know this actor from something. He's listening to a podcast. And who are reducing understanding, but actually entering that wild space and the audio in this scene. Yes. Or as a dolphin might say, how would You can get back in line. Bear whatever. What happened? It's alright, you could go. Nah, it's whatever. Why did they send him at the back of the line? Is that all? Hmm, the sound design of this episode, though. Did he not buy this? He's like, it's my lucky day. Free biscuit. Is he being stalked now? Big payback. She's coming. Great, thanks. Co-parenting at its finest again. One in the guest room? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, any Small chance? talk any and it's fireless. I, I could use a little bit more. In modern day society. Well, yes. Is he going to change the station? The trial, you have a black man suing Josh Beckford. And that human capital and profit can be Goddamn. linked to the financials of the company. Not could win, did win. Mr. Umbai he won the lawsuit? A scenario that seemed in far reaching. Yo, imagine being able to sue somebody because they owned yes, your your great grandparents. Mom, that fire perfume before you picked me up. Oh, Did she say that? Is she trying to parent trap you? No, I just think so. This show does love taking yeah. detours though to the main story, yeah. but it is all connected to the main soon? story at the same one because it's one universe, right? Unknown number. Has to be the person tracking him with that car. Like, goddamn, the sound design in this episode, particularly. Did you hear that? There's that car. Does he work for an advertising firm? Can you believe this guy? Now the white dude. This whole thing is crazy. Outraged and mad about the situation. Do you even care? It's unfair. It's gonna happen to him. We're meeting. Much for. But we'll be having some layoffs. Oh shit! People are losing their jobs. We'll get into that later today. Now I know God damn. you will have many questions and we want to be sure and answer. What is she all doing? Them, at this point in time, that's all the information I have. The show is so eerie at times. There's a rumor they're being sued with the same clause that got the Tesla guy. It's scary. I'm looking at my family. This dude is just cruising trying. through life, man. <laughs> His whole life's about to change though. Lucky them. Oh, the black people look like they celebrate. Aren't you worried? Just answer the phone. You gonna check your background? No. Oh, good. Doesn't think his family had slave owners. <laughs> you hear that sound design though and the score? You need to see what I mean. You got random white women crying. Apollo cheese. <laughs> like people got Lamborghinis now. Now he's turning off the radio because he's panicking. 
When did you pick up his daughter? Goddamn, that was creepy. Today? Mm, really? What happened to her at school? She was more chipper in the morning. Damn. That's not true. Don't How is he gonna to explain this? School. Oh my god. Okay, you were not racist. Any slaves in our backyard? Mr. Oh Pedro. my god. Mr. Pedro? I pay Mr. Pedro. Right? Goddamn. Your dad does sound racist right now. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Well, they have joined custody, I suppose. It's a nice house. It would be a shame if somebody comes to get it. <laughs> this car legit followed him all day. Now knocking at his door. Goddamn. Whoever it is wants his money. Goddamn. Marshall Johnson? Damn. I'm sorry, what is this about? Shaniqua Johnson of the okay. St. Louis Johnsons. Your family owned my great great grandmother and father for 12 years. Damn. You owe me money. What is he going to say? Uh, there ain't been no mistake. Excuse me. She's excuse just walking me. into his house. Uh, now we got one, two, three. Excuse me. Oh, you know what? You owe me by God damn. million dollars. Hey, 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 stop it. Please. I'm calling the police right now. You know Yo. What? Your family's got blood on his hands. Ooh. Damn shit. I knew somebody was coming for this house. And don't slam my door. She said my door. The disrespect. Probably the mother's in the same boat though. He's scared to leave the house. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Here we go. Hold up. Wait, wait for me. Oh, the music. I'll, I'll keep complimenting the music throughout. My bad. Looks like the whole business is going under. Baby. You're Jew Just Jewish? You're, you're Jewish? The world can find we were slaves too. Damn. That's tough. The Austro-Hungarians were slaves as well. <laughs> Marshall, you fucked. What does that t-shirt say? I owned slaves? They're making you wear a t-shirt that says that? God damn, that's tough. Easy. That is kind of easy, just wearing a shirt. Why does it say my parents or my family? Saying I. Is that woman? God damn, he's fucked. Marshall Johnson. Hey, hey. You owe me money. I, 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 I'm not. How much does he guy. owe? Okay, I don't have that kind of money. Leave me alone. God damn. <laughs> That's exactly what my great great granddaddy. <laughs> great great granddaddy no, no, no. was a slion dollars. Three million. Three million dollars. <laughs> oh my God, this is so awkward. <laughs> yeah, because no one knows I can't be dealing with that. What anymore. is he gonna do? Don't talk to the black people about your situation. <laughs> hey, Lester. <laughs> oh my God, he is talking to the black people about yeah, the situation. <laughs> they probably never talked before the situation. And uh, <laughs> what is he gonna say? Uh, uh, so. Oh my God, he's playing victim. I, I just don't know what to do. Do. Honestly. What he told you what to do? You gotta fight that shit, man. Coming as hard as her, it's the principle. <laughs> this concern. No, don't ask. <laughs> what if? What about mixed kids? How are they dealing with this situation? We need to talk now. She put the the dumb down. <laughs> Me the finger. The score, sound design. It needs a round of applause. Uh, 
I was supposed to pick her up. Oh Is she God. blaming him for his? Was Shaniqua here? I believe you. Okay, let's just can't believe go him. Go and discuss this. Look, you can't come in. Can, can we just go? Ah, damn, Natalie's a problem. And, and just talk about. God damn, don't get him back together now. Wait, what? <laughs> this is a wild episode, bro. Damn, she threw away the lamp. He talked about. They're having a cookout at his house? Wow! Ha ha! Jason's gonna chase the car? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god! Go, Jason! Is he gonna cr- I thought he was gonna crash or something. Where is he gonna go? Got a hotel. Is he gonna hire these two lawyers? I wonder what why people who are watching this feel. It's like the same as that lesbian couple in the first episode. How did you feel watching that episode? Oh, he's eating cookies again. This has to mean something. <laughs> Look at him cry. <laughs> Where's the rest of his family? Isn't this the dude from the cold story? The first episode? How long are you here for? Did he run away from where he owes the money? This woman, she Your grandparents did something. What doesn't he know? Keep saying I don't know. It's weird. My grandfather. Turns out he didn't. God damn. What what a way now to he look had at a it. A lot of help. E. This dude willing to pay? We don't deserve this. Monetary value. This history's come. Do confession. And what's your name? Shaniqua. To Shaniqua. To them. It's part of them. It is not. And historic. He's giving you a life lesson right so now. now you're, well, you're separated from your wife. Damn. Poetic justice. Be okay. We were running from this dude is talking about it like it's a reckoning. Is he gonna change his tone? He's just gonna dive in the water. Like he went in the first episode. I swear this this dude is the ghost from the first episode. He's looking through her Instagram. He's shooting himself in the head. Whoa, shit! Holy shit! That dude just continued cleaning. There's more where that came from. Damn! <laughs> For this episode is dark. Tell me this is how it ends. Hero direct this episode as well. Who's this now? What's happening right now? Okay, I don't want to ask about that. He again. works here now. And if anyone has a percent, fifteen percent. Ouch! They gotta be waiters now. <laughs> okay. He actually, he's like he's actually living a life. Who are they feeding? Are they feeding somebody we know from the show? That was a dope one take. Showing the kitchen staff, then hey. him collecting the order. It's majority rich black people now. Minorities. What a sight. It is Hero's episode, again. Maybe that directed the whole season. Who wrote this episode? I gotta know. They put their foot in this episode. <laughs> and the themes and the storytelling, the cinematography, the sound design. God damn, the sound mixer needs to pay raise. Yo, like, god damn. God damn, the sound design was phenomenal. The score. Oh, what a way to tell an episode of television.
Like this could be any other show built from this premise. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. God damn, this was phenomenal. Anyway, like and subscribe. Deuces. No excuses.